bridge is an architectural stretch, a leap manifest in materials. The ocean state has many bridges, large and small. Elegant large spans such as the Pell Bridge and the Mount Hope Bridge allow easy access to and from Aquidneck Island. Their large arcs clear the height of any tall ships. For a while, Rhode Island had many bridges that would move in some way. In an effort to accommodate both land travelers and seafaring traffic without having to make the structure high enough to clear the highest mass, engineers devised designs that would swivel or draw up to allow the passage of ships. Road traffic over the bridge is interrupted until the vessel passes and the bridge is back in its original position. The many movable bridges of the Seekonk River can be seen in this vintage photograph from about 1925. The view is looking from East Providence northwards towards Pawtucket in the distance. In the distance at the top right, the central bridge, commonly known as the Old Red Bridge, a swing bridge, is visible. During the hot summers, bridge expansion would cause swivel bridges to lock up and leave drivers lined up and irate. The fire department would come out to hose down the hot steel and return the bridge to its passable position. It was dismantled in 1968. The Henderson Bridge, a stationary span sometimes also known as the Red Bridge, opened in 1969 about a quarter mile upstream and serves as the second vehicular access across the Seekonk River. Downstream a little, in its down position, is the Crook Point Bascule Bridge, built in 1908 to provide a direct connection to the old Union Station along the New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroad line. This straw bridge in Fox Point, about a half mile north of the Washington Bridge, was used for freight service by the Providence and Worcester Railroad. In its heyday, the bridge served about 20 crossings a day between Providence and East Providence. Railroad usage declined in the 1970s, and by 1980, the bridge passages were down to about three per week. The state bought the rights to the mile-long train tunnel that bores through the east side of Providence and terminates at this bridge. There were vague plans to eventually install a commuter line over the bridge, but these plans stalled and were abandoned years ago. The Seekonk River drawbridge was subsequently abandoned in 1976, with the bridge fixed in its current upright position to allow river transit. A swing bridge built in 1885 carried a streetcar line across the Seekonk River. The original southern span of the Washington Bridge was opened on September 25, 1930 as a bascule bridge and was dedicated to George Washington in honor of his crossing with General Rochambeau in June 1781 for a siege against the British forces on Manhattan Island. In the foreground, is the India Point Railroad Bridge, also a swing bridge, near the Brown Boathouse. None of the bridges seen in this photo are operating today, having been removed or replaced, although remnants of them are still in evidence. Bridges come and bridges go. They wear out become obsolete, or they just become inadequate for the traffic. There have been three Point Street bridges to date, all three were movable. The first Point Street bridge, a swing span linking Fox Point and downtown over the Providence River, was erected in 1872. It was generally thought to be a poor design and was replaced in 1907. Horse-drawn wagons were among the regular users of the bridge. As Providence grew, so did the need for improved infrastructure. The center pier under the bridge was enlarged with concrete for a third span in May of 1927. 
The contractor and the city engineer had a disagreement over the method to do this. Thousands watched while the new 1,200-ton draw was floated into place in the morning of July 27, 1927. Four scows bore the span up from Fox Point. The span, brought in at high tide, is on the scows until it is brought to rest on the central turntable as the tide waters recede. In 1959, the Point Street Bridge was opened for water traffic for the last time. Nautical commerce had ebbed in the downtown area. The Fox Point Hurricane Barrier was built after hurricanes in 1938 and 1954 flooded downtown Providence. Completed in 1966, it rendered the need for a swing bridge upstream of little value as the barrier itself blocked large vessels from reaching the bridge. Bridges span over chasms and gaps, over rushing traffic, over bodies of water, and sometimes over other bridges. They allow travelers to continue on their journey past an obstacle. Bridges are places of change and decision. Crossing that bridge when we come to it and burning that bridge behind you are concepts that are rooted in our psyche.